Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. And out of the park fans, again, I am here, continuing on with my 1994 Chicago White Sox out of the park season. And as you can see on the screen, we have the standings. I have gone ahead in the schedule a little bit so that we're not always playing Cleveland. You probably got sick of seeing us play Cleveland. And you can see we are 54 and 48 currently in third place in the Central Division of the American League of 1994. Four games behind the Cleveland Indians and three and a half games behind the Kansas City Royals. So here you can you can kind of, kind of see what uh, a lot of our players are doing. It looks like it's got the lineup, the current lineup up there. You can see Karkovice hitting 207 on the season with 15 home runs. Uh, Lavalier, no, this is not the, yeah, this is just the uh, depth chart. So this is, yeah, the, the main players. Uh, you've got uh, Lavalier hitting 227 with a uh, 370 on base percentage. Lavalier getting on base. Franco hit, hitting 366. Frank Thomas hitting 344 with uh, 30 home runs. Um, what is that? Cora hitting 289. Graybeck hitting 257 in limited play. Robin Ventura hitting 306 for us. Uh, Ozzy Guillen hitting 315. Nice to see that. And then if we uh, go to the pitching, you can see um, Wilson Alvarez is um, with a 550 earned run average. Jason Beret with a 564, Tommy Gilbert with a 427, Austin Glenn with a 417, Jack McDowell with a 399. So really, the problem has been our pitching has not pitched as well as it would in real life. Although the hitting, you could argue, has been a little better than in a lot of cases it should be in real life. So, I don't know. We are where we are. Um, again, we'll go back to the back to the standings and uh, you can see that that's where we are 54 and 48 and today we are playing the Seattle Mariners who are in second place but seven in the west in the AL west but seven games behind Oakland so and they're 49 and 53 so they're not better than we are okay this looks like the lineup I want now. Yes. So that's where we are. Um, we'll move. I'm going to move Talbot up a little in front of Johnson. Maybe even in front of Guillen. All right. So now I've got the lineup I want out there. Um, and we're going to have Wilson Alvarez on the mound. Um, you can see on the year he is four and eight with as we discussed before a 550 earned run average very un Wilson Alvarez like and then we will get on with starting the game <laughs> put myself right here I guess and then we will um, pitch to the batter. That's going to be a nice rip for the Seattle Mariners. Lead off double. Alvarez pounced on that. That 
Joey Thor is up, and he's going to rip one between short and third for a base hit to left field. Brings up. Oh, he's good to 
face yet, and I can say no. And in fact, you know what? I'm going to Lance Johnson. And Lance Johnson gets hit by a pitch and loads the bases with no outs. Seattle had no answer for the White Sox. Wilson Alvarez, who overwhelmed the Mariners' hitters as the White Sox coasted the victory 6-0. You can see, just take a look there and see what some of the guys are doing on the year. After that game, Cora hitting 292, Franco at 365, 365 with 19 home runs. Ventura 308 with 17 homers. Reigns with three at 308 with 10 homers. And then that Talbot guy 429. And uh, Alvarez of course improved. Eight innings pitched, four hits allowed, no earned runs, and uh, lowered his ERA to 521. And McCaskill coming out of the pen to get the game for us. And that does improve us to 55 and 48. So uh, that my friends, is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.